All right, welcome back. Now, still the Good Morning Niger show. And yes, we still day here to bring on the best of entertainment. We'll enter our first sit down talk segment. And this one day, very, very, very important uh, because Nigerians, they talk, say, why at this time? Not be so this thing supposed to be, but hey, this is not the conversation. Four trillion naira. We, uh, they don't decide. We, a uh, national assembly, don't approve. We, Oga President, don't ask. Say, so maybe they approve them for the subsidy matter for country. Four trillion naira for inside levels. And this so far, some money where they can't deduct to make sure say they arrange this back on my side. Now it will make people come they talk more and more and more. Uh, we take the current money from UBEC and some kind of health uh, areas too. They come up money for there just to make sure say they take fund this uh, level. But we got one very, very special guest. We go follow us, uh, talk this one now. Uh, Honorable Mohammed uh, Saidu Etsu will be SSA to Niger Governor on Rural Electrification. And then a governorship hopeful for Niger State. Uh, Oga Mohammed, good morning. Good morning, my brother. How are you? We did all right. We did fine for here. Uh, I did here with Ochuko and Precious. And uh, we say, make we follow you, Yan, this matter, this uh, very, very beautiful morning. Uh, thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. I see your introduction. I'm not a governorship of I'm a former chairmanship aspirant. aspirant. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Thank, thank you very much for that aspirant. correction, sir. Yes. Thank you very much for that mm -hmm. correction. All right, sir. So make we just enter the matter as it be. Uh, we know say this conversation don't they cause a lot of yearning. People don't they wonder say, okay, why this time, this situation, subsidy matter. We know say this one day very very necessary based on waiting the uh, federal government don't they talk. But uh, the way this four trillion take come, how you take CM? Make we look at from that aspect at first. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Thank you for having me on your studios. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, it's high time we face reality in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We, at this critical time, our economy is not doing well. Mm -hmm. Things are getting, and inflation is going higher, and things are getting tougher for average Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way the government is spending money on this first subsidy, it has come to a re uh, reality that we can't sustain it because mm -hmm. so many critical uh, infrastructure has been affected by few people collecting subsidy and we are not feeling the impact. Mm. It's now left for the government and the citizen to agree on how to do this thing. Because if you can continue like this, it can even reach a level that we can't pay salaries and uh, the country cannot function effectively. Mm. Now, when this government don't bring this portfolio for subsidy, this is uh, shocking. And um, in fact, we can't sustain it at this critical time and uh, we need to do something about it quickly. So mm. that we can be able to move forward. If not, it will not be easy for our average Nigerians. Mm. Uh, okay, so Oga, Oga Saidu, if we look the matter where when a Nigerian is not agitated, because government they don't plan, say, after a while, from April, May, June this year, we're not going to pay subsidy again. We're going to move on. But Nigerians not agitated, talk, say, they want subsidy because we're not going to buy fuel, the price will be, say, we go buy and when they come on subsidy. So you know, look, I'm like, say, um, governments try to answer the people by making sure say they accommodate them no matter how stressful it is for government you know we say uh be like say the government and citizens there is communication uh gap and then uh, you know people don't understand how subsidy things they work okay. and the government is not coming out uh, uh they and explain how it intends to make succor to average nigeria because people don't trust government again I would like to because people they feel say government uh, scam. But in reality, we can't sustain it. And people know very well that we can't sustain it. And this is that that is why the thing now will be shocking for other people where the you know, say this country can so, not sustain this kind of while we don't enter inside. Mm -hmm. But now it's not left for the citizens to understand and the government to come out clean and tell us that okay, if we are removing subsidy. These are the X, Y, Z that we are going to do so that people will understand when we are removing subsidy. But if you remove subsidy and you call the tenant say you won't buy uh, buses and you won't give some people much more money, people will think say that scam still. Mm. But now it's a reality that we can't sustain this thing. And Nigerians cannot move forward like this. And that is why I believe that it's high time we all come together, both citizens and the government, to agree on how we can be able to move uh, things forward. Yeah, again, when we talk about this slashing of some critical sectors like the UBEC uh, by 23.16 billion and basic health care by 11.58 billion, amongst other things, there will be said they still slash. 
you think say um you think say that are the right thing for them to do or you think say it will get impact on those other sectors where we say they slash from to take from this very one that's what i'm telling you that it's not right because education is very very important mm -hmm. we have a country that uh, 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 we have a lot of people out of schools and we have a country that as we still on strike mm -hmm. we have a country that uh, a lot of people don't enjoy what they're supposed to enjoy in terms of uh, electricity and so many things now we don't remove money from where you know it's not enough to even go service something that is not reality now it's not there for us to agree on how to be because we can't continue this way in the next year you are telling us that people cannot have chairs in school people cannot have uh, learning materials school cannot even function people cannot even go back to go to school and teach again because if you remove this money for school where people are supposed to learn so that our future will be better and you come the put up for something that is not real something that you don't have adequate figure on how the subsidy works because this subsidy is up to now. We never know how many liters of petroleum they consume. Because say they don't even call government say how many liters will they consume as uh, Nigerians? Mm -hmm. So that we can be able to know okay, who are we subsidizing? Mm -hmm. Who will they subsidize for? Is it Nigeria mm -hmm. or another people we are subsidizing mm -hmm. their life for so that uh, they will continue their journey and the uh, other millions of Nigerians will still want to on poverty. Mm -hmm. But what if they Disturb me, we say, when government they come say more remove subsidy, labor union and some organizations. Now then they say no, no one make you remove subsidy. So now we should strike a balance so that we can agree. Both labor and the government need to come and sit down and iron some things out. And citizens, it's not about labor again, it's about citizens, it's about we agree on what to do. Because this country belongs to all of us. It's not a uh, government alone. Because government will come and go. It's just four years that they give them as mandate. Mm. But when this government go and this another one come again, still doing the same thing, it's not palatable. It's not good for we as citizens so that we can enjoy the country we will see in Nigeria and we'll get another country to go. Okay, so Oga Saidu, you don't talk now say um, when government won't remove subsidy in labor unions, then nine day put hand inside. And one of the, if you follow this matter the way you start last year, one of the reasons we make we labor union give and say the high cost of living presently for Nigeria been been too high. And it could be too much, it could be too much burden for Nigerians if they still come for more subsidy this period. Now, you be APC member by aspiring to be the chairman, national chairman of APC. You be APC member. People for them, they think and say, oh, the government for come more money from some budget from the, presidency, from the presidency or executive or legislative arm of government to use fund or to use ad fund this subsidy. Why come more money from critical things where they affect the masses like healthcare, like education? Why that aspect? Why not aspect to be say them? you know, go fit sacrifice for, for the people. Now, you feel, say, this uh, on a government, really they, you know, uh, really they feel the pulse of the people. You feel, say, they really they protect the interests of the people. No, you should know that uh, from the coming of this government, the government, mostly executive, has tried to see how they can prone their salaries. So you can hear some states that the governments, they collect half salaries. Some people don't already they see how they can be able to reduce their income and uh, prone their expenditure. But what did be the reality we say, we now, virtually everybody they face up, not only government, even citizens they face up, and even government they face up, because you can go to some government agencies and some government said, they can't be able to do what they should do because there is no even resources to do it. The country is, the economy and the country resources is shrinking. We have a lot of burdens on us to do as a common government. And the citizen expectation is high because they want to enjoy and they are, they are right to enjoy because that is what we promise to give them. Now that's why we say we as a Nigerian and, and uh, as government, as a ruling government, we need to do a lot of things to make sure that we strike a balance. We need to tell people that this is the kind of thing that the government is also facing. We shouldn't uh, hide it from anyone because government should there should be an open book where people will understand say this is what we are also doing mm -hmm. this is what government is also facing mm -hmm. so that citizens will have belief because Nigerians now 
They don't trust anything government. Anything where you even talk, sir, they will say government has come. Hmm. Okay, 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 if you they hear me, if you they hear me, for instance, the um, Asso Rock um, uh, budget, the budget for presidential villa, in terms of some kind of recurring budget, for instance, the budget for their kitchen, food, kitchen utensils, private vehicles, all of those things, now budget will be say, would they replace every year. You think say, it ain't necessary to sustain those budgets to the detriment of your back and healthcare, where it's business something we're supposed to benefit everybody. You, you don't really talk about you say budget. You don't budget. But eh, you know eh, this one has still budgets when they talk about. So yeah, they don't reduce the budget for these other ones. That is why I said government need to come out and understand how people will feel that this is actually what they are facing. Because if you say you budget this trillion billion mm -hmm. for hospital, next year you still budget it again. Mm. People will not believe that the money don't they don't release the money, give you. Yeah. You don't chop out. Yeah. You don't come come chop another one. Call another one. Yeah. But Bit by bit, that is how it works. When you budget something, how did you have money to fund that budget? Is another thing, mm -hmm. and that is why you see most our infrastructure government will talk saying we don't budget road, we don't budget billion for these roads. In the next year, you see the same budget is still going on, but there is no money to fund it. If you budget one ten billion for road for for road now. And out of that budget, where you budget, you can't get one billion. What thing you supposed to do next year? You supposed to tell the engineers that okay, we budget this thing, but this is what we are able to realize and do fix in this. We are also thinking of putting another money again to that, budgeting another money, but you don't go to that to that billion because you couldn't get that billion. That is why I said the government, the working of government, people must make it easy for the citizens so okay. that we can be able to be on the same page. All right. Oga Mohammed, the reason why most of the Nigerians they even they talk about this four trillion and the speed at which the National Assembly take even approve the money. And as you talk just now, you say, okay, they feel budget, but the money fee never come up. But we know, looking at the, the antecedents of this subsidy matter and how government they react to RAM based on say they would need to pay the subsidy, it they always they very, very swift. Now, speaking about the subsidy, you feel say, even if they want come time, you feel say now immediate at once government suppose run them or they feel they come out and gradually where the effect no go fit really no go to hit the masses if they just come out them at once make we what do you feel about the way government they go about them regarding that you know i don't already talk and we say both the government and citizen will suffer this mm. we shouldn't hide it to ourselves okay but National Assembly now then talk and say, let's know, let's know how many fuel we they consume as the Nigerian party. Mm -hmm. This one they give up figure of fuel, say we they consume this, we they consume that. Let them, they should have worked on that first before they even reach, mm -hmm. say okay, we go put money for this subsidy because we should be able to know amount of fuel that we are consuming. Sure, as sure, yes. No. But as it stands now, they don't approve the thing without getting this information where they talk about. So is it not still in the in the in the the fault of the government to approve that kind of money without getting that information? That is what I'm saying. And National Assembly approval, they are representing Nigerians because all of them come from virtually all their zones and mm -hmm. constituency and even local government. Yeah. And they know the yarn is where people they talk. They should have do their due diligence because now government can say, okay, this is what we want. But if we have chairs of government that works mm -hmm. and we will allow the project to work, now you don't already bring budget say that this is what we want to do so that you support us. They say, no, Oga, this is how we think you can do it. That is why they are there. Mm -hmm. They are not there to just say, okay, we don't bring so that we can sign. No, we will, we will do due diligence. And that is why I'm expecting them to also do their work and brief Nigerians that this matter will not start a talk before. We don't do this one first. We don't mm -hmm. already know number of. Uh, for the consume, but consume. Nigerians, we need to do this now. We need to approve this so that we can be able to. If you didn't approve this, this will happen. But mm -hmm. all these things are not there. Mm. We're just seeing figures. We are just seeing this thing. But we, as government, we as people in the ruling government, we're doing everything possible to make Nigeria better. Mm. But in the reality, the economy is not doing well because. We have a lot of challenges. We have a lot of look at COVID have affected our economy. Look at the uh, Ukraine, Wala, and so many things. Mm. And that is why the government on its own 
this our revivalists should have been working in the last four years. Mm -hmm. But due to so many bottlenecks and so many things, we're still dragging the same thing. Because we need to come to reality and see how this country will move forward. It's not about uh, we, APC, or PDP, or uh, this thing. It's about Nigeria first. Because we should pass this stage. I think we don't do this work. Same thing. We know we'll get this one that will be inside. Makes and sense. that's why it's not the fault of this government alone. It's not the fault of even the previous government. Because it's about Nigeria. Even today, God no make APC maker. The next government, we sh they should be able to do this, not be telling us that no APC don't do it. That's how Nigeria should be working. Nigeria should be working with vision. Mm -hmm. We should have something that, okay, by this year, we will out of this world so that we can be able to move forward. Because we are not matching with uh, other countries where development starts at the same time. Mm. All right. Now, um, one of the big questions we really the they concern Nigerians, they make them the surprise and say, our government is determined to say, uh, say now that much Nigerians they spend or need to spend on forest subsidy to arrive at that figure from 442.72 billion to an increase of 3.557 trillion. No, we said before now, subsidy never even reached 1 billion self. It never reached it never reached that benchmark at any time. How they take reach that kind of amount, knowing say this that we see we really want over time. Hmm. It, you get any parameters where they really look so okay based on this, although they give reasons say that because of um what's it called? Oil theft and the Ukraine and Russia crisis war. But what will be the projection and the figure and make they arrive at this? That is, you know, the figure is or not, uh, you can see the figure is just shrunken out from NNPC, which is the agency having responsibility to do this points of the things. But what in our civil society groups they do, we can't be blamed, we can't be talking all the time without going in depth and get facts so that we can be able to, we can also help Nigerians. And that is why the essence of allowing uh, this democracy, this, uh, there is a freedom of information. Civil society groups, organizations where, no, it's not about talking about PDP or APC or about this, no, it's about checkmating the system entirely. We should be able to have independent body that can be able to go far and even journalists so that we can be able to know actually what is happening mm. from this sector that we are always having Figures. We are not having what is on the table, so that we can also have facts for Nigerians. Because it's not about we as government alone. It's about Nigerians, and we have some people that are working that say, okay, we can be able to help you talk. Even labor self, mm. labor have a lot of work to do. They should. It's not about when the government say I want to increase for or oh, subsidy matter don't come. Now you will talk. No, labor or himself should be able to do this work. If these people fail to do it, so that they can be able to bring facts out. Mm -hmm. You know, those are the things that I'm expecting right. we to do as a country. Mm. Because right. it, should be, it should be something that we are working together. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Oga Mohammed uh, Saidu Etsu. Uh, we thank you say you follow us talk this matter because uh, as, it, as it be so, you yourself know, say Nigerians, they, they question this uh, movement where uh, the government don't decide to do so. But at least you don't break down some of the matter for us. And I believe some people don't understand them from uh, a different perspective. Thank you for, very much for your time this morning. We hope so you get a Thank you very day. much. That is why we are grassroots people. With the uh -huh. whole village, with the listening to waiting people, they talk. Not so. People not go so. talk. But now it's not there for us as a government, as yeah. a people in the government, yeah. to also do our best. And we're also doing it to make right. sure that uh, Nigeria works. Thank us. you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, much. Mr. Saido. It's too. We Thank appreciate you. you. Thank you for your time.